ngayon alam niyo na kung paano mag-decline ng variables and yung iba't ibang data types, it's time to move on na to another JavaScript topic which is operators. So, yung JavaScript nag-provide ng different uh, operators. So, it can perform mathematical calculations, comparisons, and logical operations using JavaScript. So, ano yung iba't ibang uh, operators na to? So, yung iba, or yung isa, tinatawag na arithmetic. Na arithmetic operators. So, it includes um, addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, and finding the remainder. So, yan yung sa arithmetic. Meron pang isa, which is comparison operators. So, dito na bibilong yung mga uh, equals, greater than, not equal. No, dito na bibilong sa comparison operators. And lastly, we have what we call logical operators. Yun yung and, and, or, tapos yung not na operator natin. So, let's try this. No? How can we use operators? So, for example, you will have variables. Let x equals 5 and then let y equals 10, for example. So, if gusto mo silang i-add, gumamit ka lang ng symbol na add. So, console.log x plus y. So, save and then i-run natin. Ayan, 15. No? Makita mo na sa console mo na yung result is 15. So, how about subtraction? Palitan mo lang to ng minus and then save and then run ulit. So, you will have negative 5. It's because... 5 subtracted by 10 is negative 5. Okay? Next up, you have um, multiplication or you have to multiply. So, change it to a multiplication symbol and then run. So, 5 times 10 equals 50. Next up, we have division. Okay? So, we'll run this. 5 divided by 10 is 0 0.5. No, yun yung value na. So, what if y divided by 10 or divided by x so tingnan natin so the value is 2 so that is correct pa rin. and how about the modulo operator so paano ginagamit anong meaning ng modulo so ginagamit si modulo para hanapin yung remainder no uh, dito sa javascript so yung symbol niya is yung percentage ayan so 10 modulo 5 so try natin i-run ayan wala siyang remainder kasi uh, 10 divided by 5 is 2. So, if may remainder yan, try natin. So, 11, palitan natin. And yan, meron siyang remainder na 1. So, yun yung gamit ng modulo operator dito. Next up, we will have what you call the comparison operators. So, try natin kung paano natin ito magagamit. So, comparison operators. So, remove muna natin yung console lag sa taas. And save. And then, Let's try the different um, comparison operators. So, for example, let is greater. So, you'll have this variable. So, y greater than x. Okay. So, console.log lang ulit. Console.log is greater. Okay. Run mo yung node index.js. So, makita mo, yung return niya is a boolean. So, it's either true or false. So, y is greater than x. So, what if palitan mo ng less than? Run natin. So, it will be false. Okay? So, what if um, greater than or equal to? No? Try natin. So, true pa rin. So, y or 11 is greater or equal to 5. So, what if gawin nating for example, 12 itong si x. Okay? False. Pare. So, what if 11? Ano kaya yung magiging sagot? It will be true. Kasi you have greater than or equal to 11. So, kaya naging true yung sagot sa ating terminal. Okay? Um, what are other um, comparison operators that you know? We have equals. So, paano natin magagamit yun? So, take note na yung equals... Um, hindi lang no, sa numbers. Pwede rin siya sa strings dito sa JavaScript. So, let's say you have a word. no Let word equals math. Okay? So, what if meron ka ditong let is match. No? Is match equals. And then, paano mo um, makakompare? So, you have, for example, math. No? equal equal to word 
try natin. So, true siya. Diba? Equal, equal. So, what if um, we use numbers? So, for example, yung y and x. Sorry. I made a mistake. So, ayan. Is match. Try natin dito. Is match. Okay? Ayan. So, makita nyo pa rin na true. So, iniba ko lang yung variable sa console natin. So, what if yung is greater ulit? Or, palitan natin ng is equal. Okay? So, y equal equal to x. Okay? So, console that. Plug natin. So, makita mo. Oops, sorry. Mali na naman. Okay. Tao lang. So, true. So, makita mo 11. So, what if, guys? Tignan nyo ito. What if string si 11? Anong mangyayari sa tingin nyo? Di ba? Pwede ito sa JavaScript. So, ira natin. True pa rin siya. So, bakit? No? String. Hindi naman string yung number. Hindi naman... Um, hindi naman sila nagmamatch ng data type. Bakit true pa rin? No? Bakit equal pa rin sila? No? Ang explanation dito, guys, is when you use double equal, may nangyayaring type conversion. So, for example, si y is a number. Automatic, i-convert niya to numbers x. So, merong type coercion or conversion na nangyayari. Kaya, si x na-recognize as number. So, anong gagawin natin? Para strict, no? Na string equals to string and number is equal to number lang. So, ang gagawin mo lang is gagawin mo tong triple equals. Ayan. Dadagdag ka ng ganyan. So, if iraran mo to ulit, makita mo na false na siya. So, you have a false value. Kasi, walang type conversion na nangyayari dito. It's a strict um, type of comparison pag triple equals. So, yun yung explanation dun. Kung bakit true yung nangyari kanina and false na ngayon. So, hindi na niya kinoconvert tong string na to into a number. So, yun yung nangyari in the background or in the process. Okay, lastly, you can use the not equal operator sa ating comparison operators. So, paano natin gagawin yun? So, we have this exclamation mark. Okay? So, that symbolizes not equal to. So, this is a strict type no, of comparison. So, remove muna natin to. Okay? And then, ira natin. So, yung result is true. Kasi, hindi equal yung type nila. Kahit na equal yung value nila. So, yan yung strict type checking. So, what if pinawa mo is eto lang. So, hindi mo ginamit yung strict. So, ano yung magiging value nito? So, it will be false. Kasi, um, yung naging result is um, equal yung dalawa. Kasi, may nangyaring type conversion. So, pinonvert yung x into a number. Kaya, naging um, false yung ating uh, result dito. So, yun lang for comparison operators. We'll be moving to logical operators. So, logical operators. Ano naman yung mga ginagamit dito? So, we have and, no? and, which is double ampersand, and yung or is dan ito. So, tapos meron pang not. No? not. So, so, not is same lang then sa ginamit natin sa comparison operator. So, pwede mo yung gamitin ito. So, try natin yung end. So, ang meaning ng end is console.log. For example, meron kang mga arguments or dalawang arguments. So, meron kang left side and right side. Okay? So, for example, x is greater than 5 and x, for example, is less than 10. So, Remove muna natin to. Gawin natin number yung x. Okay? So, x is greater than 5. So, 11 siya. True. And, x is less than 10. So, x is 11. So, this will result to false. So, tandaan nyo na pag may isang false sa either side of this um, logical operator, automatic na magiging false. No? False na yung value nito. Ayan, magiging false na yung value niya. So, dapat both sides are true bago magig or bago siya mag-return ng true na value. So, let's say less than um, or less than 12. No? This will return true. So, try natin muna yung una. So, dapat this will result to false. So, comment lang natin to yung line 24. Ayan, and run natin ulit. Okay. So, that returned a false value. So, ayan siya, false. So, if 12 naman, this must return a true value. So, true. Kasi, x is greater than 5, 
and x is less than 12. Okay? So, comment lang natin ulit. Try natin yung or operator. So, console.log. So, x is greater than 5. Sorry. Or y is less than 10. Okay. So, ano kaya magiging value nito? So, tignan natin. No? So, x is greater than 5, which is true. Or, y is less than 10. No? So, false. So, ano kaya magiging value? So, magiging value nito is, or ang return value nito is, true. Bakit? ba False si y, no? False si y. Bakit naging true yung value? Kasi gumamit tayo ng or operator. So, if any, no? Na value ng ating left and right side is true, this will return a true value. No? Sa... And naman is, if uh, ang side, ang left and right side is, there is a false value, automatic na false na siya. But, pag, sa or, pag meron ka ng true value, automatic yan, na true na yung error return Okay, so let's try this one, and run. Okay, so makita nyo, true na siya. So, what if false yung both sides? No? What if x is greater than 15? Save natin, and run. Makita nyo, na false siya. Kasi, walang true. Uh, on either side of the expression. So, yun yung ating uh, logical operators. So, for example, gusto mo naman yung not no operator, which is kinawa natin kanina. You can do that. So, okay. Uh, x is not equal to gamit tayo ng type checking 10. So, let's go to that log. So, true. So, that is how um, operators work in JavaScript. So, a recap, we have arithmetic operators, we have comparison operators, and we have logical operators. So, hoping na on the next video, we will discuss more about uh, the JavaScript basics. So, see you on the next video, guys, and thank you for watching.